Hey guys, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi everybody, happy Friday to you. We hope you've had a great week. It is day 109 of the Quarantine Gardeners. If you don't know, that's us, and this is our daily video log of us accomplishing projects around our garden while in a quarantine. And thank you for being here today. If you've joined us in the past, you know that Friday is our usual plant chat day. Yay! Yay! If so you're new to our series, we have lots of other plants that we've profiled and we would love for you to join. So click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of our other daily videos. So guys, today we're doing plant chat and we're doing it on Agastache, or also known as hummingbird mint. It's a beautiful plant. It oh. attracts tons of hummingbirds and other pollinators. This is the first time we've grown it in our yard and we just love it. It's a beautiful plant, it's very aromatic. Mm. It's in the mint family and it loves full sun. It loves well-draining soil and rich soil and it's really easy to grow. So here's our Agastache. Isn't this beautiful? These soft orange and kind of rose pink color blossoms and it's just beautiful. Yeah, these, the flowers come up on the stem. They kind of look almost like a spike, but they come in a whirl around the stem and they're just beautiful. Now, something to know about these, if you do deadhead Agastache, it'll continue to bloom throughout the summer. Which is great. One of the many reasons we love this so far. It's a drought tolerant plant and we've grouped it with other drought tolerant plants. Actually, you may have seen us plant this the other day on day 107 when we planted this whole drought tolerant container and they can tolerate some mild drought. They're also deer resistant, which is awesome. Oh man, so that's great. So if you have great. a deer problem, which we don't actually have, we have squirrels which are currently running around our yard. So guys, I'm, you can see me, I'm rubbing this leaf. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, what a smell, just beautiful. Like Sean mentioned, amazing. the ACA family, the mint family, like all wonderful smelling things are. So it has this kind of minty, kind of sweet smell. So uh, Agastache will bloom in many different colors. And you can see here, here's a pink, but it also comes in orange, purple, blue, and red. Sean, you worked with Agastache in grad school. I did. This is one of the flowers that I grew, the one of the plants I grew out in a field for cut flower production. And this this flower, this plant makes a great cut flower. So and so you can imagine these beautiful blooms. And then once you cut them and put them in a vase, you also get the aromatic scents from them. You get that smell and it just adds to the whole thing. It's just beautiful. It really is. It's a very striking plant. I'm so glad we picked this one. This is called Kudos Ambrosia. And this is a mm. Agastache hybrid. It likes full sun, so it's loving its location where we've placed it. So guys, just so you know, this Agastache right here will get about 20 inches tall and about 16 inches wide. So something to keep in mind when planting it and putting it next to other plants. You can see we put it in this pot and it's a little bit closer than 16 inches. So, but being in this pot, it's gonna fill out really fast with the other plants and it's gonna be nice and full probably by the end of the summer, if not sooner. And that'll be great because it's gonna attract tons of hummingbirds. And we have a lot of hummingbird friendly plants around our yard, so we like to space them out. As you might have already watched our other episode when we planted this pot, Agastache and these other plants that are planted with it are drought tolerant, but since we just planted these, they are gonna need regular watering to make sure they get established correctly in their new home. But they will tolerate some drought. So that's something to keep in mind when putting all these plants together and when choosing these plants to plant in your yard. Yeah, this is great. I'm so glad we added this to our garden. We have another plant in a different location as well and just love the contrast of the blue pod and the colors and we're, we're real happy with it. Yep, we can't wait to see how it grows and how beautiful it gets all summer. So guys, that's Agastache. We hope you enjoyed our Plant Chat Friday. And if you have any questions about Agastache, go ahead and leave your comments down below and any questions you might have. We love hearing from you. Go ahead and give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. And we'll be back tomorrow with our Garden Tool Saturday with another new tool to present to you, so make sure you come on back to see that, and have a great start to your weekend, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.